Hi, I'm Eric Bowling in for Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching this special edition of The Factor, The War on Terror, The Political Equation. The danger from ISIS and Islamic terrorism has reached a boiling point across the world. But if you listen to Democrats, there's apparently an even bigger threat at hand demanding our urgent attention. Next week, I will be joining President Hollande and world leaders in Paris for the Global Climate Conference. What a powerful rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. The president's statement echoes what Senator Bernie Sanders laid out at the last Democratic presidential debate. In the previous debate, you said the greatest threat to national security was climate change. Do you still believe that? Absolutely. In fact, climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. And if that's not enough, the environment's well-being is even impacting the Obama administration's strategy on how to attack ISIS. Take a listen to the former acting director of the CIA under President Obama. There seemed to have been a judgment that, look, we don't want to destroy these oil tankers because that's infrastructure that's going to be necessary to support the people um, when ISIS isn't there anymore. Um, and it's going to create environmental damage and we didn't go after oil wells actually hitting oil wells that isis controls because we didn't want to do environmental damage mm -hmm. and we didn't want to destroy that infrastructure right um so we had oil on trucks so we're, so now we're hitting oil on trucks right and and maybe you get to the point where you say we have to also hit oil wells um so those are the kind of tough decisions you have to make Joining us now with reaction from Palm Springs, Rick Grinnell, former U.S. spokesman at the United Nations, and with me in studio, Fox News radio host Alan Combs. Now hang in there, Combs, for one second. Grinnell, they didn't want to hit the oil infrastructure that was supplying ISIS with literally tens of millions of dollars monthly because they were worried about environmental damage. Yeah, look, this is akin to refusing to fight ISIS until the fighters get to join a union. This is the politicization of uh, our national security policy. This is what's been happening by the Obama administration. They politicize everything. And bringing in these PC ideas into the battlefield, I think, it is not only crazy, but it's endangering American secu national security by refusing to fight with what the Powell Doctrine calls overwhelming force, we're literally limiting the U.S. military men and women's capability. Uh, Alan, when it's I heard, wrong when, and it's too, when too we, much politics. When we put those statements together, your jaw has to just drop. I mean, fr Russia knows what's going on. France knows what's going on. England even said we need to step, step it up here. But we're worried about the environment. You can't environmental ignore the fact that there's been a tremendous drought that has affected 800,000 people that has led these people to have to move to the cities move, migrate, and not get the services they need. ISIS comes in and provides them with the services they need that the Assad climate government change would is not. Causing ISIS. You, climate change has led to a migration, which has led people to have terrible drought, not have the resources they need, not be supported by the Assad government. ISIS comes in and develops a structure that enables yeah. them to do it. You can't ignore that this has an effect and on I what's going on. And I think you can't ignore what's really going on. Americans are dying, Parisians are dying, the, 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 the free world is dying at the hands of ISIS. And I think, Rick, I, I really, I think it's, it's, it's important to note that, that they're using climate change. President Obama likes words. He used setback for Paris. He said ISIS is contained, and now climate change next week is going to be the major focus to fight terror. Where are we? I'm scared. Now, look, the, the Democratic Party has gone so far left that they're endangering us. The, look, the, the, separately, these issues may have some s sort of merit, but to place them higher in, in this category, to prioritize them over actually killing ISIS and what they're doing is crazy. This is a commentary on how far the Democratic Party has gone. Where are the moderate Democrats standing up to say our party has been hijacked by people who want to politicize war in this way? I mean, it's really crazy. Alan, Look, who's, Alan, politi Alan, who's politicizing Alan, war here? There are senior about... White House officials yeah. who are going on television because they can't get through to the White House to the president saying, this, we're in trouble. There are attacks yeah. that, that, that could be imminent. The people politicizing and they'll go on war, TV, I've the got generals. Even, We've got a bunch even of people running for back. president trying to be more militaristic than the other person. Let's bomb them. Let's bomb the blank out of them, says uh, Trump. We've been bombing for 23 years. We've been bombing the Middle East. We've been fighting for 14 years since 
9-11. That has not solved the problem. We've got to get in there. With but climate the change will. You've got to, uh, Fixing I think you're ignoring change. what I'm saying, which Whoa, is that I'm you've got to understand to what has led to people's dissatisfaction, which has enabled them to be attracted to ISIS in the first place, and that institutions have to be created Look, that enable these people Rick, to get the services they need. they've been fighting in Look, the Middle East for 1,300 years, and I'm pretty sure the climate... And we're not going to solve it by bombing a few more times. Look, the fact of the matter is that we have been bombing for the last 18 months with President Obama's coalition of 65 nations. And yet this week we found out that the French bombed the command and control center for ISIS, to which most Americans said, what? We've been bombing for a year and a half and we didn't find the command and control center for ISIS? No wonder, because we've been trying to figure out how to use solar energy to, to bomb. I mean, look, this is crazy. You cannot mix these issues. The priority is to use overwhelming force and to kill ISIS and to push them back, you're not, not gonna, to somehow unionize them you're not gonna solve or make sure that they're using proper energy. You're not going to just solve it by after 23 years of bombing, just more bombing. You've got to create institutions. You've got to give people resources. You can't ignore that the lack of resources has led to their dissatisfaction. Well, we've known that Raqqa was a command and control center of ISIS. We know that's where they train. We've known that's where their headquarters are. Why did it take the French to lose 130 citizens, people, for them to, to take them out? Why, why didn't we do it? We've known Why, it all why are we ignoring the fact that, in fact, they haven't contained in northern Iraq, have been contained in Syria. They've taken back, we've taken back land from an them. Answer, this though. is being totally ignored. Why, we, 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 can I say we've something here, we Eric? This. Guys, I, very quickly, Rick, very quick. Yeah, look, for four years, President Obama has ignored the garbage pile up along the Syrian border uh, with all of these refugees and migrants. I think it's been atrocious, and that's probably the reason why they're leaving is because of the garbage we pile. we got to I mean, leave it right there, guys. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Up next on the O'Reilly Factor special amid escalating tensions with Russia over Turkey downing of one of its fighter jets, should President Obama be ramping up efforts to remove Syria's Bashar al-Assad from power? That powerful debate coming up.